Volkswagen has a strong following with their Golf and Jetta cars, but one vehicle in their lineup that's had kind of lackluster sales is the Passat. And it might be because it has less than inspiring styling and kind of a stodgy image. This new Passat CC is going to change all of that. It takes the regular Passat and changes it into one of the best looking cars, I think, in the Volkswagen lineup. Now, why is it called CC? That stands for Comfort Coupe. You see, what they've tried to do is marry four doors and four seats with the silhouette of a coupe. It's no coupe, but it is a great looking car. By the way, the regular Passat will continue to be made. Some might remember the first car to try this unique approach, the Mercedes CLS, which we reviewed when it was first introduced. The two cars have a similar profile, but I think the Volkswagen has better execution. So how did Volkswagen achieve that coupe look? Well, what they did was they dropped the roof down by two inches, and by doing that, the front window is longer and shallower. Same with the back window. The front and rear fascia have been totally redone. I don't even think it looks a lot like the original Passat at all. The car overall is a little bit longer and a little bit wider, so it has that hunkered down, aggressive looking stance. It looks classy, expensive, and sporty. But the good news is, it isn't expensive. It starts under $32,000. Nice. Just like the regular Passat, the CC is sold with either a four-cylinder turbo or V6. The V6 is the only model to be equipped with an all-wheel drive system, and that vehicle starts at just under $45,000. Sounds like a lot of money, but it's fully equipped. Psst, I got news for you. I like this Passat CC way more than the new Audi A4. Just look at it. It's a way better looking car. It comes with similar engines and transmissions. It's bigger and it costs a whole lot less. If you're shopping for an A4, you got to check out the Passat. The only thing, in my opinion, that the A4 has going for it is their Quattro all-wheel drive system that they equip on their four-cylinder model. The V6 CC with all-wheel drive is cheaper than an A4 V6 equivalent by $6,000. For that money, you could load up your CC with a technology package for $3,500 and still have change left over. You know what, I think the inside of this car looks classy. It's simple and it's clean and the materials are all first rate. They're soft, they're nicely put together. I love the center stack on this because it's so simple. Why do car companies always junk up the inside of cars? It's clean, it's efficient, and it's easy to use. I love these seats. Now this car has the sportier seats in leather. When you get this Highline version, it starts at $38,000. I think it's worth the extra money. They have extra bolstering as well. Now one of our camera guys drove this and said he didn't think it had enough padding and it felt a little bit hard. I don't mind it at all. I actually prefer the extra lateral support. The back seats are just as sculpted as the front to provide a sporty experience for all four people in the car. The center seat is sacrificed for extra storage and cup holders. Even though the roof has been lowered by two inches, the rear passengers have headroom, enough for six footers. <laughs> Now one thing we should point out, the 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder found in the Audi A4 is more powerful than this Passat. That vehicle is rated at 211 horsepower, this one 200 horsepower. Both are excellent fun-to-drive units with more than adequate power and a good balance of performance and efficiency. Unlike the V6 in the Audi A4, the Passat has a larger displacement V6, 3.6 liters versus 3.2 in the Audi, and more power with an impressive 280 horsepower. That's why I think this Passat CC is a nicer car than the Audi A4 when you get the four-cylinder. But it's the V6 that I really believe adds the most value. You get more power, you get standard all-wheel drive, and it's much cheaper. If shifting on your own is a requirement, then you have to opt for the four-cylinder model, which comes with a six-speed manual transmission or optional six-speed Tiptronic. On the V6 CC, you only get the Tiptronic. 
This test car is the four-cylinder turbo with the six-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. I think the best way to drive this is in S, sport mode. That changes the mapping of the transmission, gets the best out of this turbo engine. You see, when you come to a stop in a turbocharged engine and then you take off again, off the line, there's a little bit of a lack of grunt there. It's only when the turbo spools up that you get all that extra power. When you are at speed in this car, there's plenty of power. It's really beautiful to drive on the highway and has lots of passing power. This Passat CC is a perfect example of what can be done right. It's the perfect kind of car for a guy like me. I like a car that looks good, feels classy and sophisticated with above average handling and performance, but you don't have to bust the bank. Now this four cylinder turbo will be the volume seller, probably because of the price point. But I think that the best overall value comes with the V6 with all wheel drive, because it has a beautiful engine, almost 300 horsepower, and many attributes that much more expensive cars have at a lesser price. One thing I'm not crazy of is calling a four door sedan a coupe. It's a bad and silly trend that should never have started. This really is the Passat Sport. Let's call it that, Passat Sport. For complete specs, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com.